The George Washington Geckos and JFK Islanders met up in a battle of undefeated teams in IFL football action last Friday in Manila. GW, with a big crowd on hand for their homecoming, faced an Islander team on a four-game win streak. Turnovers proved to be costly for the visiting Islanders, who fell behind early in the first half after GW's defense came up with two interceptions. JFK looked to get into the end zone when quarterback Quentin Iriarty hit wide receiver Wayne Jesus on a deep pass down their sidelines for the big game. Kelvin Hocook put the drive on ice with the interception here for the home team, picking up some good yardage on the run back. G-Dub put six points on the board when QB Brendan Santos hit Isaiah McGill on the out route in the left corner of the end zone. GW went on to win 14-0 to improve to 3-0 on the season, while the Islanders are now 4-1. Let's jump right into some NFL highlights from the Broncos and Seahawks game. A rematch of last year's Super Bowl. Russell Wilson with the deep ball to Ricardo Lockett for the 39-yard touchdown. Seattle up 10-3 in the second quarter. 12 seconds left before halftime. Wilson finds Marshawn Lynch on a quick slant to give the Seahawks the 17-3 lead heading into the lockers. After picking up a safety, Peyton Manning and the Broncos making a comeback. Manning with the shovel pass to Julius Thomas from three yards out. Denver down five with under 10 minutes left in regulation. Seattle leading 20-12 to 12 now with 52 seconds left on the clock. Peyton avoiding the sack. Finds Emmanuel Sanders for the first down to keep the drive alive. Manning rolling the dice, going all in. Hooking up with Jacob Tammy for the 26-yard touchdown to bring the Broncos to within two of sending the game into overtime. Demarius Thomas is clutch. Thomas pulls down the crazy two-point conversion here to send the game into overtime, barely getting two feet in bounds. In the end, the Seahawks went into beast mode and gave it to running back Marshawn Lynch, who sealed the deal with a six-yard touchdown run to give Seattle the 26-20 win in overtime.